Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at sliceonbroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Hey guys, it is the Awesome Cast 209. We're ready to get geeky, talk about tech. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters down here in Sorgatron Media Studios, Mayhem Studios here in Pittsburgh, PA. With me back on the couch is Chilla. How was that Katy Perry concert? It was awesome. (laughs) I know you're jealous. I forgot to make fun of it a little bit, you know, a little bit, you know. She doesn't actually kiss a girl, does she? No. I did actually. She's saying that to the little kids, though. It was kind of That was kind of weird. It's cute. Is that the word? (laughs) And on the other hand, I did see a lot of girls kissing girls. So that that worked out in the long run for me. There you go. So, uh, but we'll get into why that is here in a little bit. Uh, The the other person that knows why that is, is uh, is the Dutters is back at K Dutters on the Twitter. Uh, uh, Back again, survived the gathering of the Juggalos with me. Yes. With only minimum bruises and scrapes. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> only one kick to the face, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. only so. one. Awesome. But we'll get into that here in a little bit in the second half of the show. Uh, uh, there, we actually do have some tech stories and stuff coming out of that and uh, some stuff that survived. So we'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, but of course, this is your awesome cast. You can find us over at awesomecast.com, sorgatronmedia.com. We record here live every Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. around about Eastern time. Um at, at live at sorgatronmedia.com uh tweet us uh, at awesome cast we're also awesome cast on the on the facebook and on the google plus uh and awesome cast on youtube you can find us on itunes spreaker uh stitcher and uh, a few other places too in audio and video formats and if you want to drop us a line we're at awesome cast at sorgatronmedia.com uh so uh, with that uh, let's get uh, our awesome things of the week out of the way here uh let's go achilla you have something that you promised a review of uh up on twitter earlier yeah so i actually back in may pre-ordered the clam case for the ipad air okay and it's actually a keyboard um dock type of device i've i've gone through many a keyboard and my major complaint and it's going to be hard to show to people that are that are on audio only but my major complaint is that most uh, any of the keyboards they have for for iPads or for Samsung Galaxy, pretty much anything, you can't take the keyboard and fold it all the way around like oh. this, and it won't. And this actually kind of stays in place. One of the most impressive things with the clam case is the the power of the hinge. The hinge is extremely tight. It has a tight hinge. Um, so it'll actually open up kind of like a laptop. Mm-hmm. You can have, have a couple viewing angles. It will, if you, if you start to apply major pressure to it, it's going to kind of click into its, its primary location. Um, the other thing I really like is if you're laying in bed or laying on the couch, it has a really nice position like this. I can't see that with it, with a keyboard, okay. with the keyboard down. And as soon as the keyboard comes out of its primary position, it shuts the keyboard off. Nice. Whether the keyboard, wh- whether you have the on-off switch on or not, so you don't even have to think about <clears throat> it. Right. It, it it automatically shuts it off. Mm-hmm. Um, the only time the keyboard is on is when you're when you're when you have it up in like you would. It, it kind of reminds me of a net, netbook. Mm-hmm. Um, they obviously designed it to look a lot like a MacBook Air. Mm-hmm. Um, it has the the aluminum. Um, aluminum internal shell with the black keyboard the external shell is actually a, like a white polycarbonate it reminds you kind of like the old white macbook um some of the other things that i i noticed with this that either is touted on other keyboards and doesn't work or other keyboards don't have um the magnets are built into the keyboard so when the when the ipad's closed when when the shell's closed it shuts off the iPad. Um, I had another device that, for some weird reason, was keeping the iPad on unless you hit the power button. Um, I don't know if there was something on the rubber that that was kind of like a finger 
mimicking a finger um, pressing against it. It was capacitive. I don't know. Um, there's actually a battery button that the battery light flashes and tells you how much battery you have left. I rarely see that on a device. Um, this gets months and months and months of battery life. Nice. Uh, so battery is not a huge issue, but it's always nice. Do I need to plug it in? Do I not need to plug it in? Um, it has uh, a button for to activate Siri, copy paste. Um, it'll activate search, the home button. It'll lock the device, volume up, down, mute. Um, two things that I do not necessarily 100% like about the clam case. They did a really nice job of cutting out the area for the power connector. So nice that it only fits a power connector that comes from Apple and does not fit any Apple accessory mm -hmm. um, lightning connectors. That's that's a common problem. I, I just was having a problem with her life case with that because I, I have an mm -hmm. Amazon Basics okay, one, and it was like, oh, yeah, here, use this. And he's like, I can't use that. Yeah. <laughs> So it won't fit in the hole. Um, nope. But the funny part is like even the I have an, an SD card reader that I use to grab pictures off of a, a digital camera. Mm -hmm. I have a USB um, one that you can also use for cameras or for a couple other devices. Um, those don't fit in here. The device does easily come out of the case. Um, there's kind of like a grip at the top and it pops out. Uh, it actually has insert here with little arrows down towards the bottom you put it in at a slight angle mm -hmm. push it back it's in place um the volume and power actually show through or i'm sorry don't show through there's kind of buttons over top of the buttons that work actually i was pretty impressed work extremely well um they just so happen to cover the toggle button oh that you can use for mute or um, screen rotation lock. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, I've gotten a lot more used to activating that off of the, uh, what is it called? The launch pad or whatever, the, where, where you swipe up from the bottom of the screen. So that's where kind of, I use mute and screen lock. I, I, you, you, I, I guess they have a point. I really wouldn't lock the screen, which is what I have that toggle set for mm -hmm. because in this, if yeah, you're I mean, if you're using it like this, and you go like, um, I guess it doesn't need to rotate. Well, depending. Anyway, you're, it's probably going to need to rotate in some some way, shape, or form, based on the fact of the the keyboard case. But but like I said, the the, the main thing that I liked about this was its ability to fold all the way back behind. It's it doesn't add that much weight to the device as opposed to any other keyboard. Obviously, it's a keyboard with a battery. There is some weight. But it's 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 not very noticeable. I I also feel like it's sturdy in my lap for the laptop or for the iPad being pretty uh, heavy, top heavy, making the device top heavy. It does have a nice weight in your lap. So that's the Clam Case Pro. I'm guessing they're going to come out with a one that also the keyboard lights up, but who knows? Awesome. And if you if oh pro tip, go to their if you're if you're interested in getting it. Go to their website, add it to your cart, create an ID, because you have to create an ID no matter what if you're going to purchase. Mm -hmm. Create the ID, add it to your cart, and then leave. Really? Within a few days, they'll be like, you have this in your cart. Here's 20% off. And, and I know <laughs> it, is, it is available. They have Air Mini and uh, two, three, and four models. Yes. So, uh, so you can get it for if you're not upgraded to the Air yet, because let's, let's be honest, uh, you know, iPads don't tend to break. Yeah. So yours I'm, is your iPad well, ones. They're using actually. I noticed the the brew at the top of the hill here. They, mm -hmm. they use Square, and they're I, and I took notice today that they're using an iPad one because they they just kind of hand it to you. Mm -hmm. Like it's not attached to anything. <laughs> like most of them are, where they have a little you know uh, kind of you know kind of like stand or something. So they hand it to me, and I, was like, I realized it's like oh, this feels just like mine. And I looked at it. There's no camera. Completely an iPad one. But why would you need anything more than an iPad one to be a Square register? You know, yeah. unless they have like certain upgrades since or something like that. But they had the register. They yeah. had, every, you know, all the buttons in there, like way more than what we had when we had a cafe a few years ago. So so it worked out really well. So go check that out. That's uh, clamcase.com uh, if you want to uh, see that. Uh, we'll stay on the hardware. Well, I guess it's all hardware. It looks like um, 
Lotus has the more dramatic one, so I'll I'll just stick mine out here first. <laughs> uh, so I was like, hey, I want a battery for the gathering, something so I can last. I'm in the woods, you know. We, we were staying at a hotel, of course, um, but you know, we'd be walking around for a good bit of time. And if the service was good, I'd love to be using Instagram and Twitter and everything. And that was a great thing. Um, one of my videos actually got on a couple websites and and uh, about a fight that happened. Uh, but you passed me. Chilla. So this is actually kind of your awesome thing that uh, by proxy I'm using this weekend. Uh, and actually, here it is. It's the verbatim dual USB power pack power pack charger. Have you talked about this on the show before? I didn't this, talk about I didn't talk about that one this because one in particular. The, what what happened was is I reviewed one that was was relatively the same price as that. Okay, but it was a quarter of the battery power. Really? So I had to buy three of them. Um. <laughs> so I actually got rid of those and got that one and that one actually i think is is mm. actually like six of the other ones so and that hasn't more importantly than anything it has an on off switch yes <laughs> yes it's got an on off switch and there's actually uh, like, like it's and, and I'm re- i read the manual like i read okay. every english word of the manual it's <laughs> not that much but you see there's like two lights there if you're on the video guys uh three is full so it's like at 66 percent basically uh and i don't think i saw it get down to one that yeah. I recall, and I was charging it. Uh, the girls were charging it. You know, uh, I plugged it in sparsely. I want to say, yeah, like it, I completely forgot one night. I know that. Uh, and, and one time, I remembered like halfway through the night slash morning or whatever, and I know I didn't get a full charge on it. You know, but it was a little bit. Uh, like I say it's got a USB. It's got a, one USB for um, it was says general and one for iPad. Which and if you plug the the so the iPhone one, the whole iPad thing is it's using the higher. Yeah. So, yeah. So you can plug you can plug your iPhone in there. I don't know what happens if you plug I don't think something else in there, but um, it'll pl- it'll charge the iPhone twice as fast so in I that other port because yeah. it's a higher amperage, right? Yeah. So, but yeah, or you, you can easily charge two things. I don't yeah. think it's a problem either. Um, so it's just a USB adapter there. So whatever you have there for a mini, not a micro. Right, if I have that right. That, that's what was weird. Like, the, it's a newer device, but they're still you. They must have like found like a lot of old USB. Yeah. The the old mini it's, USB connectors. Um, the Duracell one I got, which you know it usually tops off maybe like I'll probably add on another forty to fifty percent onto my iPhone. Uh, it's just a little fifteen dollar one I got uh, at Walmart or something. Uh, but it's got that too. You know, mm-hmm. I, I think I think uh, for a lot of power devices like that, they stick with that for whatever reason. Hmm. Could be a license thing, thing, could be a parts thing, who knows? Probably it, it probably is cheaper for them to get it because all the phones are getting the other one. Yeah. So they're like, well, here we go. And, and, and they and they don't need to be tiny, really, but for something this size. Yeah. What did what did you think about the size of that device? Did, did it pose an did the size pose an issue? No. Uh because I have a pouch that it fit nicely in because I had a pretty big kind of uh, a duffel sort of bag, mm-hmm. you know, a backpackish thing that went over my shoulder. Uh, so it fit really nicely into that. And then I had the cord coming out. Now, Dutters, you guys took it with you for a bit in a smaller bag. Did you did you find mm-hmm. any issue with that? The best part about uh, that particular charger is it fits nicely in a uh a bag, like a gallon sized bag in case it rains. You just stick it in there yes. and keep it safe. Ah. That was the other thing. <laughs> That was the other. We'll I never into, thought we'll, about that. We'll get into some of the uh, rain protection here with your your thing too, and and I'll I'll share my method that worked pretty well as well. Um, but I but but it wasn't too big, right? It, like like it fit your guys' bag. Like I know you had a smaller thing going on there. No, we it, and yeah, I didn't notice I was carrying it around. It's mm-hmm. the weight's nothing. It's not. Mm-hmm. You really don't notice you have it at all. I, I believe I did have this uh, in my bag when I jumped in the mosh pit. So it survived that. I, I say it's definitely. It looks like it's been weathered. It's been in a bag, you know, been tossed around for for four days straight in in some extreme <laughs> circumstances. It's scratched all the hell. <laughs> but I mean, it's a piece of. It, I mean, it's, it's a piece, a piece of, of plastic. plastic. All it's important is a battery. You're not really showing off with something like this, you know. Uh, that's fine. You know, my phone still looks good at least, uh, and it was powered the entire time. So real good, real good. Um, really impressed with that. So so let's talk about protection, Dutters. <laughs> what way. kind of protection are we talking about? <laughs> what happened? What did I miss? <laughs> a lot of strange things happened at the gathering. Uh, but no, you, you, you. We've talked about your case before on mm-hmm. the show, and and this was one of the things that you had in mind going into it, right? Yeah. This this is. Um, I, you guys have seen me drop my case 
on the ground in, in the studio. In my drink of water. Between. Yeah, in an actual glass of water. I've Any sort of liberties I could take with this case, I've taken. And it kind of, we ran into a situation which was pretty interesting where we met some people who were doing a documentary. And I ended up carrying one of the, using one of their cameras on a, one of those stick cameras um, in the pit because they asked me, how close are you going to get? And I said, if I'm here, I'm going all in. Uh, so I went up there and uh, we were pretty close up. I think, Sorg, at one point you touched the fence in front of the, the band. Yes, towards the end. Towards the end, yeah. yeah. A bit. But here's, so we were, here's a little bit of the footage. It's a little choppy from the uh, from the transfer over. But you can see how she, close she is. And it, it gets very, very pushy there. Yeah, I, I it was pretty amazing because if you're not familiar with an Insane Clown Posse ICP show, is the, one of their big things is they spray their audience down with Fago. It is constantly you're being barraged with that. Um, people are also throwing water bottles. It, it, it's a very wet, messy place to be. And on top of that, about partway through their set, it just started downpouring. And it was unreal. And meanwhile, I'm holding both this camera and my phone up the whole time trying to get videos. And I was absolutely shocked that this thing is still in as good a condition as it is. My phone was completely dry. It, it didn't get affected one bit. Uh, I, I ended up got, getting knocked to the ground once. Uh, both I and the phone and the camera all went down, and we were all okay. And it was, and the video is really, really good. I, I was surprised it was as clear as it was, and um, the stabilization was fantastic. And like I said, I just held it up the whole time like this, and I'd occasionally hit, you know, play, record, stop. But um, like I said, it, it survived. They go a, a complete downpour, like absolute soaking down. It's actually, I, I don't know if you can tell in the, in the footage there, but I'm actually watching the pure footage and right there, it's actually downpouring like really mm -hmm. bad. Like to the point that like my jeans wouldn't stay up because they were soaking, soaking wet that bad. <laughs> <laughs> but I, like life proof in this case, I, I can't say enough about it. Uh, it's funny because when I do work at the scare house, I do a lot of painting. That's part of my job there this summer. And my phone has been covered with paint and stain like this case has been covered and it's actually cleaner now from being soaked from the fago and the rain than it was before I started. <laughs> but it, it's been an absolute lifesaver for me. I can't say Ooh. enough about it. That's what, that's what it looks like you got smashed there or something. Yep. <laughs> There's <laughs> actually a point here where you just like see somebody's crotch cause they just went over your head. <laughs> I know it's when I was yep. going through it. So uh, you can check that out. The, the footage is actually over on, on my YouTube channel. Uh, you, <laughs> So it shows how old it is. Uh, YouTube.com slash SPS Juggalo, J U G G A L O. Uh, mm -hmm. I can't change those things, unfortunately. Uh, but no, that's just my personal Michael Sorg channel if you want to check that. And a lot of other, we actually took a lot of other video uh, through the weekend. I did these kind of daily spots on there too. And a lot of slow mo with the iPhone slow mo, Fire Dancer with the slow mo. Oh, that'd be cool. That I was see awesome. That. Uh, they had a cyclone. Uh, the spinning cyclone with that goes up on its side mm -hmm. and everything. Uh, so I got a little bit of that in slow mo. A guy like tapped us on the shoulder and asked us to move uh, away from the trash can. He's about to throw a firecracker in. <laughs> so I got some of that. He wanted me to put his name on it. And I said, I don't think so because you just did something kind of illegal, right? Uh, so it was, it was a pretty good time and, and it's great to see our stuff kind of survive there. Uh, mm -hmm. So, uh, and this is, I mean, not, and, and, and on top of that, you, what was the camera that they gave you? It was like a GoPro, but it was the one I hadn't seen before. A condor, yeah. wasn't it? Something, yeah, it was a condor or something. And it was it literally, it looks like a, a little camera about you know this kind of a shape. And it's on a stick and it, it moves up and down. It has a power button and a slide for record and off. And that's all it was to it. And that's, uh, they. I, there was a couple of us that had those in the, the vicinity of the, the pit area, mm -hmm. kind of trying to get footage and, and pictures of the stage and what was going on. And But it... Like I said, it went down with that too, and I think it survived. They haven't mm -hmm. said you owe us thousands of dollars yet, so I'm assuming it survived. And they did. They did take your. Uh, they did take your license plate or not your, yes. plate, your driver's license and everything too. I can't even find it. I, I can't even find like. I think is it the contour? Contour. C o n t o u r. That could be. Hold on. Is it like a little? Looks like a mag light type thing. Yeah, it's like it's like a long one, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a contour. Yeah, yeah that is that's it. it. Yes. That's it. Uh, so here it is here. Yeah, it's kind of like a longer camera. And and GoPros were all over the place, too. Uh, GoPros mm -hmm. on sticks were like every concert had GoPros on sticks. And I don't know if it was just fans or if it was people getting footage for something else that, that was in crowd. I feel like it was just fans, really, in the long run. Um, well, to, to be honest with you, after watching the video that I recorded, 
it would almost be a toss up between getting an iPhone and a case like this and getting a GoPro because cost wise, you're getting pretty close. Yeah. And yeah. like the stabilization like we talked about was was so good on my iPhone that it was like, well, maybe this might be a better investment if you're going to do something like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd love to see what it came out of the, ca- the contour. Uh, yeah. Oh, only thing, and I didn't want to say anything to you t- during the thing, is turn the camera the other way a little bit. But I was I was actually afraid, because the way you were holding the camera, if you were holding it sideways, I was afraid you wouldn't have as, as good of a grip on it. Yeah. And I was more worried about you ha- having your phone than having the best footage. <laughs> so, um, you know, even... I you know, <laughs> even, you know, what, what, you know, what you need is like the GoPros, you just need that stick. Right? Yeah, and it, like mm-hmm. get a stick that we can attach to a case like that, and that probably be a pretty good situation too. So, uh, but awesome, yeah. Go check out that footage, and uh, we have some. I might be putting some other stuff out here soon too uh, on that YouTube channel. So, I think you can actually pick up the contour at Radio Shack. Really, the reason when nice. you when you brought up the name when you brought up the name, mm-hmm. I'm like, I think I saw that at Radio Shack the other day. It's only a two hundred dollar camera too. Yeah, it's it's right in the same range as like a a, a GoPro. The only thing is, I don't know if it's, uh, there is a waterproof case, but I don't know if it probably doesn't have the same depth as the GoPro. <laughs> Oops, maybe it's not waterproof. We found out. <laughs> no, found it is out. It is waterproof, and, and it's, I, I lost their sight, but it was waterproof, but I know one of the big things, GoPros, to X some some deep depth in meters. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. I want to show uh, uh, something else, uh, speaking of GoPro, in a second. Uh, but first, I want to give a shout-out to our boys at Slice on Broadway. They have a new location we've been talking about for weeks. It's opening this Sunday, the f- 3rd of August, uh, down there in Carnegie, PA. Uh, if you have been holding back on checking this out, if you're in the Pittsburgh area, this is the time to go because uh, they are, if uh, as my contact, I believe it's going to be free pizza for a year if you win this uh, uh, contest they're doing down there. Uh, And I believe uh, from the sounds of, I think it's a first day kind of thing. So uh, it's down in Carnegie, PA. Uh, They do, let's see the address. I think it's on their Facebook page. I'm in the wrong thing right now. Uh, But uh, go check that out. I'll try to find that in a moment. Uh, But uh, I know even the managers going down there that, that, that we're familiar with. So I got to, I got to introduce myself to the manager on the phone new manager on the phone uh today or tonight uh so uh, always a, a a great place awesome pizza uh been supporting us here for several months grant oh grand opening at 108 east main street in carnegie so right there along the main track from the looks of things um so uh go check that slice on broadway.com follow them on facebook get the info and uh there's going to be pizza samples prizes and music uh, from 12 p.m to 3 p.m on sunday so if you're in the pittsburgh area drop down there i think it's time for a pizza pal stutters Oh, that sounds like yes, a plan. Yes, please. Yes, let's make that happen. So, sliceonbroadway.com. So, uh, like I said, speaking of GoPro, uh, there was a, uh, a GoPro cam. Let me pull it up here. That's actually from the Cannibal Corpse Mosh Pit at the Gathering of the Juggalos. Ooh. Yes! Now, I got to qualify. This is probably not the most vicious Cannibal Corpse mosh pit you could find because, you know, this is not like, this is not 4,000 uh, Cannibal. Plus, they helped pick the guy up. That would happen probably less at a regular Cannibal Corpse mosh pit. Um, <laughs> but uh, another angle, I, and I know I had seen it. You know, I'd love to see this with Google Glass if I wasn't worried about breaking it, you know. But. Uh, no, I know that was making the rounds a little bit, but uh, otherwise, uh, we had uh, a few items of tech. Uh, well, I know, well, well, Katie, you were there actually uh, specifically to, to you know, because of communications, because you were interested in how they interact and what they do online. Uh, uh, what did you learn about kind of seeing it in person? Um, it was it was interesting for me because I was kind of curious to see how they were using social media and how they used to connect with each other, uh, especially for being the, t- the type of um, jugglers are, are known as well. They identify as being a low income group and um, they're they're spread across the whole country. I have a cat behind me now. I don't know if you saw <laughs> oh, that. Oh, it's a cat. <laughs> uh, see, I just saw a tail like. Ooh. It's mad because you're taking his house to do this podcast. <laughs> She's sitting behind me. What are you doing? Um, 
but I was kind of curious to see how they were using it to connect and kind of create bonds between each other. I would keep laughing every time I see a tail, but uh, how they were creating bonds with each other. And then something that was completely unexpected to me and we weren't, I, I didn't initially go into and looking for this is we started posting photos and videos to Instagram and cross posting them to obviously uh, Twitter and Facebook and how closely people from home who, were, who couldn't go to the gathering for what, whatever reason were liking and following our posts and, and how many new followers I got. And, and we were having a good time whenever someone would like our pictures that were new to us, that didn't know us. And, and it was surprising how everybody was following along. Even people who were there were following around along on our, our adventures and, and commenting on them. And it was really neat to see that they were using the hashtags to uh, see what was going on and keep up with the events, which is great. It, it, it's a lot of times I think people, give uh, hashtags a bad name that they're, they're a, a pain to look at and they don't want to be bothered by them and they're just a waste of time. But I think a lot of them are used, like for example, this has been, was used correctly in regards to being able to keep up with uh, what's going on at the show and uh, with each other. And social media is a great way. It's an expensive way to keep up with people that you can't regularly keep in contact with, obviously. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, certainly. Especially since this is the biggest, biggest event for, that sort of community, you know, mm -hmm. um, I know we, like we went into it, we were like trying to figure out what is the hashtag for this thing? Cause we didn't really <laughs> investigate that side of it going into it. Right. Um, yeah. and, and it's like, it just, it, it really like looked at the Twitters for it. And they're like, ah, oh, they, they, they have like a post a day saying two days left. It's like, they completely set this up in, in a scheduler or something. Right. Um, mm -hmm. but once we started getting into it and actually saw some people interacting, I know every time I looked at Instagram, uh, it was just, you know, like upon like upon follow upon follow, we're having fun reading some of the the uh, profiles for some of these kids, uh, adults. I mean, hell, I mean, you know, honestly, that was another thing that surprised me. I thought it was going to be a bunch of young kids, but they're all mm -hmm. practically my age. You know, uh, mid to later twenties uh, 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 that I could tell, except for one of your new friends. Um, and it, it was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and we won't get into that here, um, but. Uh, and also, for me, one, it was great because they were on LTE, so it was, like, fantastic to, like, share stuff. But yeah. um, Instagram became, like, for me, the the thing that made sense the quickest to, 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 to share stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. They're not popping up now, but, like, I, I can't believe how many videos I shared uh, for a lot of the weekend, for instance. Yeah, I'm not usually one who shares videos on Instagram or um, shares videos as a whole because mm -hmm. it's just, a lot of times for me, I feel like it's kind of a pain and you have to figure out what you, you know, how, what do you want to include and... And, and it was just easy to go boo, 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 and then it was there and mm -hmm. we were sharing across the different platforms and, and people were enjoying it. And it was fun to see, like you said, everybody who was following along and who probably are going to unfollow us in the next couple of weeks. When they were like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we kept making the joke. We're like, uh, man, these people are going to be really disappointed in a couple of days when we start uh, tweeting about, you know, scare house and podcasting and, and whatever. Right. And uh, toilet Tuesdays. And toilet Tuesdays. The toilet Tuesdays. <laughs> I don't know. I think the jugglers are going to be down with the toilet Tuesdays. They paid a lot of attention to their, toilets that was mm -hmm. there's a that'd be my way in <laughs> there's a lot of graffiti a lot of instructive graffiti on the on the porta potties mm -hmm. I am, you're gonna have to check out uh her instagram uh to see what we're talking about there uh, you got a lot of the graffiti i'm noticing yes they, <laughs> i thought it was very important to include it. it it was it was great because a lot of if you, you didn't see it already some of the bathrooms were tagged whether mm -hmm. they were clean or dirty mm -hmm. uh to let the to let the girls know, which I thought yeah. was really good. This cool. one says, uh, let's clean. This one says, say no. And the other one says, no, let's and let's juggle. are the ladies there. Uh, no, let's don't uh, shit here. Uh, for instance, <laughs> uh, that was a nice collage you put together there. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and, and, and the so shape, the shape of the, the framing on that picture looks like it's three iPhone covers. It does a little <laughs> bit. doesn't it? <laughs> It does a little bit. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, 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 it threw me because I was going through. You, you let me. Uh, uh, she let me uh, uh, take the pictures off her phone, and I'm just like going through. I'm like, what in the world did she find here? You know, and, and I didn't realize it was just a uh, like that, that. That shapes really nicely with that. Uh, like, I, I mean, if you framing. would like to buy them, I could sell those online. You could borrow those images to make your own iPhone case. I mean, it would fit nicely. <laughs> wasn't there? Wasn't there a company that took Instagrams and they would like give you like a printed tile with the Instagram on it? I feel like there was, was there was they, they printed it on wood woodstagram was it some something Perhaps, like that maybe mm -hmm. uh but but no that, awesome awesome uh and we learned mm -hmm. something else interesting uh, uh you you actually 
I think I, I caught on the latter part of this conversation. Uh, but one thing we saw was a lot of people with balloons and, uh, and it's, it's basically whippets, right? Mm -hmm. um, and, and we were very fortunate that um, I, I have no shame and I will ask anybody anything at any time. <laughs> <laughs> and we did find, we did find like uh, some people I was, well, this one guy I was familiar with and you me to everybody and, and and you can basically ask these guys anything like they're very they're, they're fine with it you know um yeah I, you know the the bad name thing is still coming back i've been talking about uh going over the last couple of days and they're like oh my god i'd never go they're still like oh my god i'd never go to that i'm like there's nothing wrong here you know all the bad news is completely bs there's a good vibe you know everybody was educational to you guys you know you guys kind of looked like outsiders you and margie uh a little bit um but uh but no it, it hell they didn't kill the vice cops <laughs> stick that out there and they were very obviously vice cops uh so mm -hmm. uh i saw an article that they took a selfie with one so um nice. but uh but but the, what was uh you caught a little bit before one what was it that they, they were doing with this uh with this uh, balloon situation. I feel like we should preface this with, we are not condoning. No, no, we're not condoning. <laughs> and we're just kind of explaining to get to the tech but part it, of it. it. So but, yes, but, it, but, it, but that kind of really surprised me. <laughs> but yeah, cause we, I, I had approached a young lady and um, she had a balloon and I asked her, you know, exactly what she was doing. And, and she was very nice about it. She, she explained it very matter of factly. Mm -hmm. And they use a certain type of cartridge to fill these balloons in, and use it as, a, as an inhalant and for a temporary high. And uh, if you'd like to know more, it's all over the internet. But um, <laughs> she was explaining to us how she ordered it through Amazon, which... The balloon or the cartridge? I think... The ca actually, that's most, the best part. <laughs> the whole kit. She, yeah. You, the way you... Um, when you look at this particular one that she, had, she used, the cartridges that she used, when you clicked on it at the bottom where it says other people have purchased with this... Um, the balloons and the crackers that they use for these cartridges are listed as accessories, essentially. So they're not particularly <laughs> saying, here you go, this is how you do this. It, well, but, but they are saying yeah. people that buy this typically buy this and this, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. happen to be used for this, you know? Yes. I mean, the way it's amazing is the algorithm, just the way it sets it up. It's This is obviously what most people are using it for, that this mm -hmm. is popping up first. She said the first two things are the cracker and the balloons. And this is mm -hmm. this is something, I mean, this is like, well, this, it's the laughing, it was the laughing gas. It's like nitrous oxide, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah, it's the stuff out of, um, it's the whipped stuff, cream. yeah, the whipped cream. Deal. Yeah, whipped cream. Uh, but you just kind of get it by itself, which I'm surprised you can just well, buy it by yourself. By so, itself, so, right? in, so like Starbucks and anybody who's needing whipped cream and mass consumption mm -hmm. um they make their own whipped cream it's not like they're getting cases and cases of ready whip so they ships. need the gas so like you. like when you like i used to work at starbucks so you would take a, a minimal amount of heavy whipping cream mm -hmm. throw it in a canister put a couple pumps of vanilla in there and put that thing on the top and it injects the nitrous mm. now starbucks got wise to the fact of the nitrous and they mm -hmm. actually started using some other gas in their whipped cream because everyone that worked there was then getting high on <laughs> nitrous. Jeez. But so they, I think they just switched to like typical CO2 or something like that. But wow. yeah, you can, you can pick that stuff up at any kind of like pastry or restaurant mm -hmm. depot type place. Well, so we kind of joked or like, so you could like set up an Amazon mm -hmm. subscription to make sure you're getting this stuff. They're like, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I think did they say they did maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so uh I, it shows you how square we are yeah like, well yeah exactly right <laughs> uh but no it, it's it's a bit you you can literally get anything from amazon even high so mm -hmm. uh i don't know it, that was that was kind of my big tech surprise anything else that stuck out for you i mean i think it, it, the, the, the tech wise i mean everybody they said everybody was on so you know uh, definitely a lot of them on social media a lot of more cell phones in the crowd i'm not used to that yeah. at these things uh, oh, I think one of the, the, this is kind of sort of tech related, probably mm -hmm. not too much, but whenever there was, a, there was one point where they said, get your lighters out. There were not people with their cell phones out. It was legitimate lighters. It was like old school concert lighters. Yeah. I haven't seen that for a while. Uh, I felt, I was like, oh, I'll take my phone out. I'm like, oh, I'd be the only one. Okay. <laughs> I mean, wait, wait, you know, admittedly, this is a crowd that uh, a lot of smokers of various yeah. things, probably. Um, we saw a lot of, they're selling glass. You know, it, it's decriminalized in Ohio. Nobody cares. 
you know, like, like even the cops were saying, like, we are not going to arrest like, the article. The, the quote in the article was really who cares about some kids smoking marijuana? And they're like riding around in golf carts. They're lined up watching everything. They were, I think, like they high five somebody after getting flashed. I heard. <laughs> um, so uh, I, I went off to the bathroom. There was two of them lined up there watching the stage. And that's where per square foot I saw the most naked boobs. Just saying. So it was, well, it was interesting it was because you didn't see a lot of them. There's a lot of people who walk around with different signs in, and you go certain places and people are always like, uh, at, you know, with their, their Twitter handles or their follow me here. And there was no saying who you were in the outside world or follow me here's or, you know, trying to get those connections like that, at least in sign forms or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Certainly, certainly. Yeah, it was it was definitely an interesting experience. Uh, like I said, last time I went to one of these, it was like 2006. We didn't have cell phones. We didn't have iPhones. We didn't have any of that stuff. It was really, really, really roughing it. And maybe that's what lends to the kind of the 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 the, uh, the vibe, you know, that, that that everybody did have service. People didn't have. Yeah, okay, this is actually, Katie. I, I was reading this actually just today. Apparently, the service in the place they were at in Illinois was so bad. Um, the fable was that you go and there was a hog because they're at Hog Rock, Illinois, right? And there's just a giant pig statue. And apparently if you rub the statue, you got enough cell phone reception to call home and check in. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, we were spoiled. I, th- I think oh, um, yeah. overall we were very spoiled at this on this trip and, and being able to connect with people uh, beyond where we were. And, and I think it was great to just show people at home who follow us normally that this was a great time and we were having a great time and we weren't in danger because there were some people that were concerned, especially with me mm-hmm. and uh, our friend Margie uh, going to this event because they were concerned about what was going to happen to us. And mm-hmm. it was like, uh, look at the blast we're having and we're perfectly fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we actually, uh, we have some conversations with uh, you and Margie on, I, I the, those are not nice. Start a new podcast. If you look up good morning and then look for my face, on uh, iTunes, you'll be able to find it. And I tweeted out there at Sorgatron every morning uh, for four mornings. But uh, yeah, we had a conversation with you if you want to follow up on what's going on there um, uh, to get some more info, info on that. Like I said, videos over at the YouTube uh, com slash SPS Juggalo for my personal one. Uh, I also want to give a shout out to an uh, old friend that actually worked on the we- old website for me uh, with me, uh, westernpajugglos.com. Still very much tech. I'm, I'm, didn't expect to have a conversation about uh, uh, the milliamps on my battery, for instance, and and cell service at the gathering, you know. But he is completely into it. He actually runs a site, you know. We we talked one thing we talked about that you know you talked about illiteracy, you know, uh, lower income people, and there actually literacy was a problem. There was people at the documentary team said some of these kids can't even fill out the the form, the oh. the permission form. So I like, and that's how low some of them are, you know, but there is, uh, uh, like I said, a friend of mine, uh, that's very in the computers. They're actually doing, he said, the best thing that they're doing is the app reviews are actually getting a lot of hits on Twitter, but it's the literate juggalo. Uh, this guy actually works at Columbus, I think. Uh, so, uh, dingo Josh over there. Uh, he actually has like, first thing on here is, is, uh, Android keyboard showdown, Swift key versus swipe versus Google keyboard. What's up? Um, but yeah, they said their videos, it, it's kind of an early stage thing that they're working on, but it's cool that they're kind of trying to do a, let's give, you know, uh, you know, this, this, this fan base, a, a, a good name there. So I just want to give a shout out to uh, the literate juggalo.com. If you want to check out uh, what they're doing there. So I hope to see him doing a, a bit more from that. And I think he listens to the show. So he said, he's been following the stuff I've been doing. So, uh, so shout out to Dingo there. Awesome. Um, all right. With that, we do have a couple stories. Uh, <laughs> So, what have you had in a social network that was all emojis? All emojis. Feel, Go ahead. I feel like there should be like teenage girls squeeing. <laughs> They're like, "This is for me. This is completely for me." Um, I'll see if I can. Pop well, they, they wouldn't be able to illustrate that with emojis, would they? Sure, they would. Oh, there's an emoji <laughs> oh. for that. Oh, oh yeah. there is. Um, there's a lot of emojis for emotion, as Dutter's. We'll send a video about that earlier. Uh, we'll show that in a little bit. <laughs> but no, it's a completely an emoji-based social network. There's no texting. Uh, that's it. Let me see if I pull some well, audio. And that's he, what I was just wondering. Isn't, isn't there an alphabet in emoji? There is, too. So you'd have to like really, really dig for it. There is no spell. 
because there isn't an emoji for spam. <laughs> there is one for aubergine. We're not sure why, but you can use it. No bloody forward this to ten people memes. No stupid hashtags. The worst message you could possibly receive? It's a pile of poo. <coughs> now we know what you're thinking. This is satire. No one would actually make this thing. It's not. And we have. Yep, they <laughs> completely have. Uh, it's actually not. It's not open yet. That's why I didn't download the app. Dutters. Um, you can get on the. You can actually go to a registration page to reserve your name now, as long as it's all in emoji. Uh, so you got to figure out what emoji you want to be, or, or series of emojis. Mine is probably going to be one involving poop and monkeys. <laughs> um, so my band, my old band, can actually go on this. I should get that reserved. Uh, so. <laughs> How when you when you go to register, do you register via their website on? Can you register on? Well, the let's computer? see. Let's so go. How do, you, re- how do you type in emoji let's on your go. PC? Username in emoji. I mean, how do how do you type that? In emoji. Because it says okay, okay. It says username in emojis. You know what? I probably have to do it on a phone. Oh wait, on a Mac. Use a uh, wait, wait. Open app. Hold on, I'm gonna pull this up here. It says on a Mac, use a, a command control space oh, to type an emoji. Whoa! <laughs> that is so cool. I didn't know I could do this. <laughs> and it's all the same ones on my iPhone. I am gonna type an emoji <laughs> oh, all the no. time. I'm gonna be a ghost dude. I'm gonna then I'm gonna be Santa. And then oh wait, it's not loading. <laughs> it's not loading right. I don't know. What's happening here? So Apple Command Space. Everybody's doing it in the chat room now, aren't they? <laughs> um, I don't know. It's not like it's not like coming up. Like it comes up blank. Maybe. Well, I wonder if it, maybe Chrome's not set up yeah, for it. Yeah, Chrome probably can't display it. But that's awesome. And I like your email address, not an emoji, and you reserve your uh, name. So you can probably go ahead and do it, regardless if you can see it. Just know that I put like I put a ghost and I put whatever else, and 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 kind of hope for the best. Maybe I want to be alien face fire poo. I know. I'll I like be that. alien fire poo. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Um, tell us <laughs> this. Is, we'll put out later in the Twitter. I, again, I don't think anybody can do it in the chat. Let me know if you get emoji in the chat. I don't know what the windows thing. Actually, if you go to, uh, oh, this might not uh, appear properly, but we'll still get them. Okay. So they do say something about that. So I do wonder if you do open this on, um, like like windows um actually i do have a windows computer sitting here so let me see this real quick uh and if you're curious it's m uh o m o no e m sorry yeah we're doing real good here (laughs) e m o j dot l i what country is that libya no libya is l y isn't it liberia perhaps Oh. Let me see. Uh, it does say can't emoji try copying pasting and it's got a link to get emoji.com if you're on a PC. So they have thought of everything and it is detecting and they got some interesting looking. Oh, there's cat face emojis. They're actually like categorized on this site. That might LA be is I- Lichtenstein. Lichtenstein. <laughs> 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 That's amazing. So uh, go check that out. Emoji Lee. Uh, M O E M, sorry, E M O J dot L Y L I. If you want to go check that out, I, what kind of chat would that be? Like, I, it's definitely fatty. I, I think somebody just like, I can do this. Why not? It's probably the most basic idea. Um, apologies. Oh, wait. But iOS bound network already polices a rigorous picture only username system. Apologies, Monkey Train, Fireball, and Kitty Penguin Space Invader have already been taken. It's <laughs> correct. Wow, registrations have passed 10,000 as of earlier today. Uh, wait, this was 28 days ago. Yeah. That... Wow. Wow. I'm signed up. I am Monkey Poo Donut Heart. <laughs> <laughs> Go follow her on Emojily. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. And then watch, this is going to be the thing that all the kids are doing too. So. Oh, also, and, and just like, like people, like parents don't know what like different different little sayings mean mm-hmm. now there's going to be all kinds of emojis that mean other things and we're going to have to <laughs> learn oh. a whole new little language of this kid's doing drugs this kid's doing this wow uh who's going to the hilton 
I'm not, <laughs> but I want to now. Okay. Like this would actually, this would actually sway where I would stay. Okay. Uh, th- what, what is this? So the Hilton is going to let you use your phone as your hotel room key via an app. Okay. No, so interestingly enough, now there's no more need to go to the front desk and check in. There's no more need to stop at the front desk and check out. You show up at the hotel with your phone and walk up to your room and boom, you're in. I'm sorry, side note. I just got one from the chat room. What is your ASL in emoji? <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing somebody's going to figure out. All right, back to the room. Key. But, I apologize. But so, so um, this would actually, if if it was a matter of, Hotels being in the same proximity to the vent I was going and were relatively close in cost to each other. This would this would 110 percent sway. Where I would be staying Hmm. from from here and and I, I. I do not like dealing with people in public a lot. I'm not going to lie. I like talking to people and I like meeting people. I don't like, you don't like having to deal with people I, in the, I have to get through you in order to get this done or, or I don't, I have to wait in line. Oh like, yeah. Cause unfortunately when I've gone to Philly the last couple years, mm-hmm. I've stayed at the same hotel because the hotel is right across the street from wizard con and it's prime location and it's a beautiful, beautiful hotel. That's what keeps me returning. What does not keep me returning is the line to check in. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's because I'm coming in on the train and a lot of other people are coming in on the train at that time, or it's all right around check-in time. So people are showing up and there's a lot of the the hotel has a lot of weddings and stuff like that. And there's people, a lot of people from wizard con staying there. I think actually wizard puts a lot of their people up in that hotel. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, the mere fact of I don't have to wait in line. Like I look at like think Disney doing this. Like now you have like, but making it with their like magic wristband or whatever. I just see this being such a beautiful thing for checking into a hotel for checking in anywhere for that matter. But I I don't know. You know, one of the best parts about this, is one of the best parts about this is how many times have you checked into a hotel and you grab your hotel key and your phone like this, and then your hotel key is no longer working. You go back to check in later and you've deactivated your key just by putting mm-hmm. your cell phone too close to it. And that completely eliminates that problem. Yep. And I don't even travel that much and this excites me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I probably stay in hotels maybe twice a year, but this, like I said, this, this would be, I would be like, hey, we need to get a hotel that's a Hilton that has these use your phone as your hotel key, which I want to do this for my house. And maybe that's why I'm also so excited about it because ah. mm-hmm. quick set sells one that you can use your phone as the key. But and the cool thing is, is you can actually issue digital keys. So like if I had to have Dutters come over and feed my cat for a week, I could issue a, her a digital key that started working on a certain day and expired on a certain day mm-hmm. and was only good for certain times of the day during that week. I mean, it, it, I, I don't know. I, I think this is the future. I look at it as I should be able to walk into a, even like an airport and be like, here's my boarding pass. And then like the map comes up in 3d in front of me and it shows me how I get to the terminal I need to get to. Same thing with this. I should be able to walk into the hotel and be like, check in, what room am I in? Okay, here and and here's here's a brief description of how you get there. Enter the enter the main entrance. Go to the left. Board the elevator. Bank A. Go to the fourth floor. Follow the signs. Awesome. That's what I want. Oh, <laughs> uh, we got one here. Uh, I presume this is yours too. Uh, about uh, Facebook is actually about to make everyone use the standalone messenger app. Hey, it, it's on Amazon, or I'm sorry, on Android too, right? Oh yeah, I've never picked <clears throat> it up on my Android tablet. I actually I'm, I have the RMA my my Android tablet, so I'm not experimenting with it now. But um, I never saw a prompt to use Messenger like I do in an iPhone. I I don't I don't remember if I ever saw one, but mm-hmm. it could be that I just grabbed it when I grabbed it 
on I because I grabbed it. Like I saw, I think maybe we apps. covered it here or whatever. Okay. Um, I use Messenger to communicate with people that live far away, and I can't. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I don't want to call them. I have a lot of. I, I don't know. It, it, depending, like, I still have that. Okay, these people I do on Hangout. These people I do on Facebook. These people I use iMessage. Okay, like that's that's it. It's like, mm-hmm. uh, oh, I had a like a sitting here. I'm like, oh, I had to message the guy for uh, the the indie show. So I know he usually responds to me on Facebook. Like like that's like clicked in my head mm-hmm. uh, for regular people that I that I work with. And I don't, I don't remember if it was on the link that I provided, but I guess they've been doing this in Europe for quite some time. Mm-hmm. Like they were kind of the proving ground. So, and it it surprised me. I actually saw someone on Facebook on their phone the other day, and they had the little chat heads lined up down the side. Oh, geez. And I'm like, what are you that doing? Is a Facebook super user. And they're like, I'm chatting. I'm like, how did you get the heads up there? Like, like in the olden days. And they were like, I'm in Facebook. And I'm like, what? And they it, it just so happened they, they never installed the chat app. Mm-hmm. So if you don't install the chat app, you get the chat head still. I thought there's there's something where the chat heads will still pop up. I don't know if it oh, was really? in chat or somewhere else. Like in certain situations, if I'm in chat and another chat pops up, I think I get a head. You get a head? <laughs> Awkward silence. Still, still in gathering <laughs> mode. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> and now back to Dutters with protection. Yes. <laughs> what would you like to know about protection? I learned a lot this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, so so that. Uh, Dutters, do you have any, any thoughts on that? I, I don't mind it. To, I, I, there's apparently a backlash about this because it's Facebook. Um, but of course. I love how Google talks across apps. Right. Uh, and, and I still think the Facebook app, I, I think the Facebook app is missing a ton of key features on the iPhone and is missing even more key features on the Android. So if they get to that point where they're like, well, we'll split out, you know, pages, the pages app is amazing. I've been loving mm-hmm. like since they, this last major update, it's the thing I prefer to look at my pages on because it's kind of bulky to like change my account and go in there. I can actually get a nice look at everything. No, I'm in the account. So I won't screw it up by accidentally posting with, with my own account on a business page mm-hmm. that I'm trying to manage. Um, you know, it's very, uh, the chat, same thing. Nice. It, it, it's better than any experience that's going to be in the app. If they split out all these things and I can concentrate on this app and they make it awesome. Um, and then that, that will make Facebook as a whole great. And now that we have both major operating systems, will talk back and forth between the apps without much issue. Why not? Yeah, I, I mean, I would like to see them break a lot. of. I mean, I, I liked actually when they broke out photos, like they had a photo camera app. And I think they Facebook? might. Yeah, they might still. And I was using it because oh, yeah. the camera app had a couple filters. But more importantly, you could manage your albums, which you couldn't. You used to not be able to do really in the core app, which you can now. They did kill off the camera app. Yeah, they did kill it off. Yeah, it was. But but the good thing was is everything that they brought into camera they ported into Facebook. It's still okay. the core app. But it's nice least. they so, could they could do it. They could make it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I tried to th- the daughters. Do you have any, any thoughts on this? I'm a horrible person to ask this because when I don't use a Facebook Messenger, I just use the app, and that's how I communicate to people because. Uh, there are too many people on Facebook that I, I don't want to communicate with. Mm-hmm. If that sounds that sounds horrible, it, it hasn't been as much lately, but it was a big problem before, where a lot of people that I kind of added as friends because maybe we went to high school together, or maybe I knew you from college, but I, I had no interest in ever really talking to you again. I'm just spying on your life at this point, and so I, I never put a messenger in. I, I strictly use the, the Facebook app, and maybe. But I if someone messaged you, if someone messaged you, it, it would come through the Facebook app. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only way I, I get it. That's I, the only I way you not, get it. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm very antisocial in some regards <laughs> with certain people. I guess I'm a terrible human being. Well, you can always put yourself in like a hide hidden mode, or I'm offline, but I'm really online. I don't use Messenger that that much unless it's a very. I need to get a hold of this person with a very specific message. It's not like I, I don't go on there and be like, "Hey, sword." 
how's your day going? What's up? I'd be more off. Yeah, it's be, not. I, I would go on Twitter and like mention yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. To me, like Hangout is the how's your day going with mm-hmm. a few people yeah. that I have on there. Because mm-hmm. I don't. Maybe, maybe like that's the circle. Like, like the first circle of friends are the people I talk to. Hang out. The second outer one is the people. I talk, now people know where they fit in my social circles. <laughs> um, Congratulations! And then the wild card is I have you on uh, uh, iChat because I know you have an iPhone, and I'd rather just do that. You know. Um, oh, wait till know. Yosemite. That's all I can say. Oh yeah. Oh, it's oh really? Amazing. Yeah. Well, the, the whole handoff and 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 all that being able to get everything from your computer or iPad. Cause now you're getting all your text messages. It's not just iMessage. Mm. So they're all, they're all coming everywhere. Oh, I didn't realize they get full on te- text messages. Yes. So I'm just going to use that for everything. Anybody uh, out there that doesn't have an unlimited text plan that I uh, frequently <laughs> chat with are going to hate the crap out of me. Uh, it's, it's going to be awesome. But so, you, I mean, you'll be on your computer and you can type a, a text message someone on an android phone and then you can be on your ipad and then the 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 creepy thing is when you're on your ipad and your phone rings and you pick it up on your ipad or you're looking Mm. up like like what i i actually called slice on broadway (laughs) from my (laughs) ipad because i looked up their menu on my ipad i didn't want to look it up on my phone and you could i could click and i actually called via my ipad it obviously dialed through my phone, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. it was like a speakerphone conversation <laughs> via my iPad, and it worked great. And they had no idea. Nope. They were none the wiser. No, no, no idea. From my <laughs> Wi-Fi <laughs> iPad. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, well, that, that even helps because we talked about a long time ago about how they got iPads for all the sumo wrestlers because they can't use the little iPhones. Mm. So now they can actually, I guess they were already, already probably using Skype. But um, I mean, so this is going to be basically like it sounds like it's going to be another uh, extension of when somebody calls me on Google Voice, every computer will ring because yes. it's connected to Hangout. Right. You know. Yeah. So I, that's interesting. And, and you mentioned uh, in the notes here, OSX beta program. You can sign up for it right now. Right. Anyone can sign up. Um, it, they were giving it automatically to the first million people. Million. Right, right off the bat. So million. I don't, I don't know how many people signed up. I don't know if they're still, no, I'm I... guessing they're still giving out the codes. The cool thing that I liked about what they did with this for the public beta is the public beta when it was released, I think it was released last Friday and beta four was released on Tuesday. The public beta, beta included fixes from beta four that was even released on Tuesday. You'll be getting updates every second, every other Tuesday from what they're claiming. And there's not that much changing from the core operating system. So from what I'm seeing, it's they're adding stuff, but a lot of the additions don't necessarily integrate with the old stuff. So you shouldn't have that much to worry about. For instance, my VPN client still works which didn't work even when Mavericks went full on release to the public. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of, if, if you're nervous, like I didn't, I didn't load it on my primary machine yet. Um, if you're nervous, you can load it on a thumb drive. You can load it on an external hard drive. Really? You can load it however you want to. Load so I can it. just plug it. Okay. So I can just like plug it into my laptop and it's running and I can try it. Yeah. You, so you'll boot you. Yeah. You'll set oh. your you'll set that external you'll boot your machine like you normally would install it to the the drive. There's instructions out there. It's not like I think when you're doing when you're doing the in- installation, I think mm-hmm. it actually says where do you want to install this to? You pick the other drive and then you go into drive utility and you just say reboot and boot from the other drive. We need to disclaim uh if you're do not put this on your primary and computer. Don't put it on primary even if you're computer. if you're doing production, especially. But even even I want to say day to day use. If they're like, I need this computer and I don't have another computer and I got my little MacBook Air or whatever, um, don't don't do that. Yeah, I have it on a second. I have it on a separate old Mac Mini mm-hmm. um, is what I put it on, mm-hmm. and I'm I, I actually want to test it out on my MacBook Air, and I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it on like a 32 gig thumb drive. I. It, and, Boot it off of it that. is super easy. I just went through the process here. You go through the thing. It says get your code. It says download it. It, it launches up into um, um, 
the app store mm -hmm. and uh, I'm, I'm downloading. I'm going to try not to download during the show, but it's like five gigs. Yeah. So which was about Mavericks. I mean, if I Mavericks a, if was. like a 16 gigabyte hard drive or a thumb drive will probably be enough. Right. Yeah. So, I would think so. So that would be nice. Um, you're the one thing I did see and it happened with Mavericks as well. Um, you will get, like I said, the upgrades every few weeks. Mm -hmm. And when per, when the final version comes out, you'll just get upgraded to that. Um, yeah. Some people will say if you're a heavy dev or you're writing all kinds of crazy stuff to reinstall, um, I've never reinstalled. Just for I've a nice had no clean. issue. Just for but, a nice clean, maybe. Yeah. Right. But I mean, I some people will say reinstall your machine every every other year just to just to make a clean image. Awesome and uh, cool. Cool. All right. On that note, we got to wrap it up here. We got to talk some video games here in a little bit uh, with the insert coin guys. We got a special guest on there uh, coming up. So uh, anything? Uh, let's see. We don't have anything upcoming and awesome. No, but I like. do have a extremely quick tip. Okay. Uh, if you're a Verizon FiOS user, go oh. sign up. Go sign up for their rewards program. I did go sign up on this when I saw it earlier in the program. Yeah, because. Um, if you're if you, say your normal speeds were I'm 25 down 15 up uh, by signing up for rewards it accelerates you into the match program where your your download your upload speed will now match your download I'm Ooh. sure it's extremely important for you yes as you're trying to push video I think I'm um, 50 25 otherwise so now you're 50 50 so now I'm 50 50 um which is good. I don't feel so bad about them popping me up like eight bucks on my monthly fee now. They'll be they'll be converting people slowly, but you get automatically enrolled. And I noticed mine my switch was actually within a half an hour of signing up. So um, you'll get an email saying you're upgraded. You can actually it doesn't require a reboot of the router. It doesn't require anything. Hmm. Boom, you're done. I just need a better router. I just need I just need an end router. My, that's hmm. my that's my choke point right now. It's you need the, AC. Uh, yeah, I need I need to get something. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a sweet name. Wait, what, what did you just? Oh, what you, Dutters? You just emailed everybody your your emoji thing. Yes, yes. So now now we can be friends. Now you sign up, and then it'll automatically make us be friends. I love, so and it actually out. says like like okay. So you sent the link to everybody, and it has your username. I, I don't know if it's really. Hold on, let me see if I can zoom in here for you guys on video. But you can see that uh, monkey poo donut. Purple Heart has invited you. Request. <laughs> Wait, where did you get that message? That this is the email. This is uh, linked from the email that she just sent a bunch of people. Uh, that I'm I just not got. cool enough. You're not cool. <laughs> I know. I just realized. I was like, maybe I should send it. <laughs> no, I just popped it in to see if the Verizon thing had uh, popped in. So if you notice the show streaming a lot better during the show, that might be what happened here. I if I if I think I I think I completed the whole thing. We'll see. Um, awesome. Well, on that note, uh, of course, you can uh, find this show. We're at awesomecast.com, sorgatronmedia.com. Uh, I'll join us live here every Tuesday, live at sorgatronmedia.com at about 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, check us on video and audio forms on Stitcher, Spreaker, uh, 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 iTunes, YouTube, all kinds of stuff. Uh, we're on AwesomeCast on Twitter, uh, as well as Facebook and Google+. Plus. And uh, and soon emojily and soon emojily <laughs> was the emoji <laughs> for awesome cast. We'll see what that is here very soon. And if you sign up, if you do <laughs> sign up for emojily, please send us your username. <laughs> like tweet us your username, however that is. Maybe we can have like a list of them next week on the show if this works out. And a lot of you guys jump on this thing, which I have a feeling a lot of you probably will. And if anybody figures out how to do ASL, let us know. Um, Dutters is at Kate Dutters on the Twitter at Kate Marie PGH on Instagram, so you can see all of her gathering of the Juggalos imagery. Anything mm -hmm. else? Uh, Toilet Tuesday it's today. <laughs> really, dirty, dirty emoji has just retweeted one of my tweets from Awesome Cast. <laughs> um, Shilla is at Shilla on the Twitters. That's where you can find me, and and soon emoji. I'll, I'll, I'll soon make sure I send that out. Yes, <laughs> definitely. And of course, I'm at Sorgatron. Again, if you want to check out those videos from the weekend and uh, other fun stuff, uh, there's going to be some more fun stuff that's actually very related um, <laughs> over at youtube.com slash SPS Juggalo. Um, damn, I want to change that so bad. <laughs> but I guess it's appropriate now, considering the stuff I have on there. Um, and uh, I don't know. What do we do now? I can't remember anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm 
emoji down. Where are we? Where are we? Oh, hey, <laughs> uh, thank you to our awesome chat room that's uh, been helping me uh, wrap our... Oh, uh, Wheels. I think it was Wheels. Let me double check that. Yeah, it was Wheels actually uh, sent us a YouTube video uh, from what we were talking about with the Cannibal Corpse earlier of... Um, if that updates here in a moment, uh, a, a GoPro on a car wheel at 30 miles per hour. So you can check that out there as well. We'll um, we'll uh, tweet that out there right now. Let's see if we can get a little bit of that video going on there before we head out here. Maybe, maybe. Ah, uh, it's not gonna work. Anyways, uh, so thank you to our awesome uh, chat room. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. Get awesome. We're getting-